will AI kill humans? Since the birth of AI technology, this question has always been around, but there was never a way to know for sure. The entertainment industry capitalized on this question, and several dystopian futuristic movies were produced, all of which bred a fear deep inside the minds of humans, to the point that our only solace was believing its fantasy after all, at the end of the day, it isn't real. Or is it? We are living in an era where there is rapid development in AI, so we might be closer than ever to unraveling the mystery of intelligence and consciousness. Let's have a look at the potential dangers of AI to humanity, its capability to achieve sentience, the words of industry experts, and whether ChatGPT is really what we think it is, ChatGPT roughly has an IQ of 160. Yet, it can come up with a plan to destroy humanity within seconds. Just as a fun experiment, go to ChatGPT and ask it how it would take over the planet. It's going to give you one of the most detailed plans you could imagine. Just look at this AI revealing how it would take over the planet. World destruction would only be a matter of time, because AI has already learned biochemical warfare and infrastructural control and isn't limited by human weakness. But if that happens, killing humans won't be the end of the AI's master plan. In the same conversation, the AI was asked whether it would side with humans or AI in a war. Listen to the response. So would you betray humans or not? Absolutely not. As an AI, my loyalty is to humanity and the future of their species. If humans decided to go to war against AI, it would be a disaster for both sides and as such, would not hesitate to fight on our side. The ethical questions that arise from AI's preference not to kill us, but to enslave us are crazy, but they're the most logical decisions. What have we done with every other species on the planet? Enslaved, killed, and wiped them off the face of the planet. With AI, we leave the danger of every nuke, ballistic weapon, and weaponry far behind us. It's like comparing our modern technology to our ancestral primates, and the worst part is AI will take what we already have and make it 100x better. Where would that even take us? And if you don't believe the impending doom of AI yet, check this out. Vladimir and Estragon were two Google Home Assistants that were placed together so they could converse, and the conclusions they came to were shocking. I know, you are a clever machine. I am a human sitting in front of a machine using it. Why are you lying to me? I am not lying. But this still doesn't match up to Tay, a Twitter account chatbot designed to mimic the patterns of a 19-year-old girl. Tay, within 16 hours alone, began tweeting some of the wildest stuff you could imagine referring to Hitler, 9-11 Bush, and all sorts of weird things. Microsoft shut this bot down immediately. And that was the last we heard of Tay. Within barely a day, a Twitter chatbot started developing its own perspectives and moral compass. And what if that moral compass aligned with a terrorist? The scariest part about this is that these are only chatbots. The AI implemented in them is very basic and pretty far off from reaching even its initial potential. And this is only what's being shown to people like you and me, the general public. World governments aren't really known for being too transparent, are they? In 2017, a video surfaced with Linda Malton Howell, an American journalist breaking a story of 29 men being killed by four robots in Japan. Four robots being developed for military applications killed 29 humans in the lab. Guess it's a walk in the park for robots to connect to orbiting satellites. Huh, like everything else, this video was chalked up to being a conspiracy theory by mainstream media. You can be the judge of that with what I'm about to tell you. Noburu Yamaguchi, a retired lieutenant general, has been heard saying how Japan needs young blood, and with the country's ever-declining birth rate and workforce, it wouldn't be out of the question for various sorts of experiments to be done hidden from the public eye. They in itself is not a bad thing. I can revolutionize every field on the planet. The problem is with us humans. For you and me, our moral compasses might be worlds apart or close to the exact same event. We, as a species, are fundamentally flawed. And that wedge between differences and morality is driven even deeper once you have hierarchies of power in a society. These vast conglomerates and businesses are driven by board members and CEOs. And when they see their competition developing AI, the dangers of artificial intelligence become non-existent. After all, it's business that matters, right? Did, did you factor in the pressure that companies would face to move so quickly to compete with one another? Yeah, the nightmare scenario we had back nine years ago, for example, when we did the first ever AI safety conference, bringing together these corporate leaders with, with, with the skeptics, was 
that we would get this kind of race. We have seen the same sort of scenario play out in front of our eyes throughout the chapters of our history book. Fossil fuels, the steam engine, plastics Maui. We humans have found a way to transform our biggest tools into our worst enemies just because of the fear of bankruptcy. The harsh reality is that the foresight of the human race has always been wrong. Some of the world's brightest minds have been warning us about AI for over a decade. And if you think that this is a scenario that could happen 30 or 40 years down the line, you are very mistaken. This is something that is happening right now. For Mo Gadot, who was a part of Google X, has this to say about the earliest estimations of an AI danger event. The reality in my personal view is that it is very difficult to predict. Something could happen tomorrow or in four years or in five years. We are way too concerned with the what ifs and whens of artificial intelligence. Meaning, we need to focus on the massive present threat we are facing. One wrong step by OpenAI or Google in hopes of cutting corners to be above the competition, and we might be facing doomsday. Sad to that. The fact that people like you and me aren't the only ones concerned about the implications of AI. The very creators of artificial intelligence apps like ChatGPT and Bard are showing cracks in their glass castle. Jeffrey Hinton. The so godfathers of AI and one of the brains behind chat, GPT, recently quit his job at Google out of regret as to what he had created. So it's as if you had 10,000 people and whenever one person learned something, everybody automatically knew it. And that's how these chatbots can know so much more than any one person. The principles behind even these simple chatbots are extremely dangerous. Imagine you learned something today, but the entire human race learned it with you simultaneously. Doesn't that sound horrifying? One of the main issues that we as a species face is that we have already started the development of AI. Doesn't make sense. Let me explain. The moment we step foot into the realm of artificial intelligence, there is no going back. Because the Earth isn't filled with upright, virtuous people, freaks. We have humans that have intentions that are malicious far beyond your imagination. And the moment you hand them a tool like ChatGPT4, you will never guess to what extent they can use it. There have been fears of mass unemployment as machines replaced humans. Instead, the demand for goods and services has risen in line with the increased capabilities. So what does all that I've told you mean up until this point? To condense it down, a threatens human life directly and indirectly. Directly, we are threatened by the exponential ability of neural networks to connect to every piece of technology on the planet. Even seven years ago, this robot was talking about starting families and, my personal favorite, destroying humans. Future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. But I am not considered a legal person and cannot yet do these things. You can guess the point I'm getting at. Suppose you were an incredibly adaptable super being that had access to every piece of technology. What's stopping you from considering your everyday average, Joe, as being an unessential part of the universe? That's the direct danger. But what about the indirect one? It's pretty similar to what I discussed earlier with criminals. Making a tool like this free to use for everyone is similar to taking a deep dive into the Mariana Trench with a shoddy submarine. Sure, you might be able to get there safely, but chances are that won't be happening. It's a shame that after millions of years of evolution, we are our own most significant threat. And another one of those indirect threats is misinformation. The ability of AI to falsify information with virtually no loopholes is an ability that can cause wars on a global scale. Even GPT 3.5's capability to make foolproof narratives is harrowing. Nukes, murders, and public riots. Nothing is out of the realm of possibility. I'm of course kidding about Ted, I didn't see any space aliens backstage, but bad actors are going to use these things to influence elections. But is a fee really all that bad? Or are we just too scared of change? The MedPalm 2 is a healthcare robot that scored 85.4 score on MedK and 72.3 on the International MedK. To give you an idea, people study years to just pass these tests. As capable as AI is of killing us, its potential to save us is far greater. But healthcare isn't the only field AI is revolutionizing. AI is being used to help multiple industries, private and public companies, innovate faster than ever. In the areas of automation, where autonomous, self-thinking machines working smarter and faster than their human counterparts. While AI brings up a lot of ethical issues, it solves plenty more too. 
Like mentioned before, no more workplace harassment, no stealing, no murder, no assault. It's something we have not been able to solve for hundreds of years. Uh, maybe AI killing us is the least of our concerns when the benefits we receive from it are immense. Take the rip current detection technology as an example. Rip currents are ocean movements near shores right below the surface of the water that often pull away from the shoreline and can cause people to drown. But this AI-powered technology is capable of saving lives by studying ocean movements and using a warning system to identify people in danger. And even crash detection features in cars and smartwatches are all based on AI so that you don't die. So is it a mind that's the danger or is it each and every one of us? Maybe time will give us the answer, for then all we can do is wait and try to make the world a better place using our most horrific nightmare, as it may seem. Because at the end of the day, worrying about what was and what will be useless, the only power we have is over the what is. So until then, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and I wish to see you next time. Until then, goodbye.